Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Argentina versus Croatia. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international Andrei Kramaric. And now they get the ball rolling. Mateo Kovacic. And Kramaric on the ball. And a poor ball. Brozovic. And on the ball, Vlasic. And a chance to whip it in here. He's got to score! Oh, keeper dealt with it. Let's see about the delivery. Well, oh, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. The corner kicks keep on coming. corner from Modric and a bit short with the clearance and I think the threat has been averted and a timely intervention chance to cross a cross there that was decidedly ordinary well just looking at everything in Lionel Messi's impressive repertoire Stuart it is considerable what do you think will be especially relevant this time around well he's such a natural finisher he has everything a good goal scorer needs composure technique and awareness he will certainly need to be tightly marked today moving it forward Lionel Messi is with Paredes And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Vlasic. And Vlasic. And intercepted it. Molina. 
Perisic. It's a perfect challenge. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Otamendi. Marcos Acuna. Messi. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Di Maria. Just can't get it past him. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. He has teammates around him. Otamendi. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Must be. Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Well, Argentina are enjoying most of the possession, but with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Well, certainly, and here they are passing the ball around once more. Now, well, Molina. Marcos Acuna. Otamendi has it. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, the man at the hub of all things creative is usually Lionel Messi, but has that been the case in this game, Stuart? Yes, sir, sir. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And he was in the right place to intercept. Vlasic. Careless once more in possession of the ball. Paredes. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Enzo Fernandez. Messi being egged on by the crowd. Oh, he saved it well. Di Maria likes to get on the ball, and he has teammates to pass it to. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. It is a decent-looking attack here. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Modric. 
And on the ball, Vlasic. Well, possibilities in the centre. And Perisic prepared to fire. He's only gone and scores. Ivan Perisic here. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. They've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Gomez. It's with Paredes. And the pass, a good one. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Argentina will get the throw in Lionel Messi well, the pass from Messi but not quite accurate enough and the danger is about it counter-attacking very much an option and Argentina giving it away getting the better of his opponent Perisic, oh, must be, and a goal it is, the keeper ready up part of the equation. Well, just look at the defending here, they've made it so easy for him in the end, that's just not good enough. back underway just 10 minutes to go Enzo Fernandez and they've given him too much space just couldn't capitalize there and still pressing a chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Corner kick played in. A decisive clearance it was. De Paul. Just the challenge that was required. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Vida. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. The supporters want to see him have a go. And now it's over. And Argentina have to reflect on what has gone wrong here. It's a defeat and not something that they were hoping to have to digest. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. And I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.